But let's go to the Ashanti region now where polling station elections of the new Patriotic Party have been fraught with misunderstandings and disturbances in some constituencies in that region. Now, some aggrieved members have accused constituency leaders of skewing the election processes in favor of their preferred candidates. This, they say, will cause disaffection towards the party in the next general election. Now, now Jima has been speaking with some aggrieved party supporter, supporters in some of MPP strongholds and filed this report. The new patriotic party scheduled the election of polling station executives and electoral area coordinators for February 19 to March 5, 2022, under the supervision of committees whose membership are specified. At Ejuso, aggrieved members of the party, clad in red, protested the election held on February 26th. They accused the party's leadership of failing to properly constitute the election committee and to communicate a date for the election. Acting first vice chairman speaks for 12 of the constituency executives and other aggrieved party supporters. It was not only shocking, but unbelievable when at exactly 7.22 a.m., the acting chairman was heard on Kesbin FM saying that saying elections had been conducted in the constituency. According to him, the exercise began at 7 a.m. and ended by 7.22. That is unbelievable. At the, at the, at the time he was taking, talking to the radio station, it was over in all the 205 polling stations across the constituency. So it took them 22 minutes to conduct elections at all 205 polling stations within the constituency. In the 2020 presidential election, the new patriotic party garnered 68,724 votes against the NDC's 14,488 votes in the Joso. Mr. Chumasin team is worried the numbers will reduce for the NPP in the next election if emerging issues are not resolved. Or we appeal to the dealership of this party to nullify whatever was done all in the name of elections within this constituency so that things can be done afresh, hearts can calm down, and then we can move on as a constituency. We want to save this party. Known as Florida, the Bantama constituency is one of the sure bets for the NPP in every election, making 86.18% of votes in the area. Prince York aspires to be a polling station organizer at Bushen Electoral Area. Proud to the polling station election, he claims to have been attacked by some facts in relation to the election. Do not be chum. That's a MPP, a DMB. I want a metro for the Siba baby at times. I want a cast a MPP. The thugs knocked angrily on the door of the office when the officers were preparing for the elections the next morning. We inquired why they are making so much noise. They then attacked us, hitting me with a plastic chair. It is alleged the same suspected facts also disrupted the elections. Nana Boache is an aspiring constituency youth organizer. So how the papers that were supposed to be used, I mean the forms that are supposed to be used in the elections are normal. And therefore we need to make another form, some form for other people so that we can start the whole process again. Where are the forms? forms where the, 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 that is what I'm saying. These forms were stolen. So the guys stole the forms, sent the forms away, and we are ready, we are preparing other ones to do. Meanwhile, Another group has emerged claiming the NPP leadership in the constituency is manipulating the election in favor of their preferred candidates. Spokesperson Ebo Boyson has refuted claims this group disrupted the election with thugs. He is calling for nullification of results declared so far in the Bantama constituency. Because what is happening in Bantama here? If K is not taken, I repeat, if K is not taken, Bantama will be a Bantam area. Thank you. So we are drawing the attention of our leaders that they should come to the aid of Bantama because they are, don't cheat Bantama. And if Bantama falls, the MPP will fall. Yeah. I repeat, because MPP in Bantama is the heart of the party. 
And if the heart ceases to function, that means the party will soon die. In the Ofoekrum constituency, a group is also kicking against a decision to retain all old executives. In a press statement, the concerned youth of Ofoekrum kicked against electoral area coordinators appointing polling station executives for newly created polling stations instead of an open contest. Similar incidents of imposition and discrepancies have been recorded in the Adanse Asuka constituency as some persons are denied forms to contest the polls. In all the agitations, party members fear it could lead to disaffection towards the party, depriving them of the agenda to break the aid. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima reporting.